All right, let's have a look at Snake Mountain Blues by Coulter Wall. Cool song, but it um, couldn't find a good tab. They left out part of the intro, and it's too fast for me to figure out this thing. Dun, dun, dun. Then I think it's right about there somewhere that the tab kicks in. But anyways, the if you play the tablet, by the way, capo on the third fret, the, the tab says capo two, but it's three. You can hear that's the right note. Oh, and then I got to teach you how to tune down. On string six, you have to loosen the string until it says D. <laughs> this is in a drop, drop D tuning. And then when you're done, tune it back up to E. So string four and string six should sound very similar. All right. So make sure before you put your capo on, tune your string six down, loosen it so it says D on your tuner. D as in dynamite. And then let's see, you got this. That's the first measure, all that stuff. So your left hand isn't doing much. I'm just holding down string two fret three and the rhythm is um, and I'm using, let's see, the, the little lines below the staff say how fast the notes are. So slower then faster then a little three with the with the uh brace braces there the brace is a um, bracket sorry it's a triplet sounds like this and doing a hammer on from open string five to string five fret three and then doing string two fret three and then open string four and three at the end. So all together again, here's the first measure. Then the next measure is this. Yeah, that's where you hear that high note, right? Let's try that again, I mess it up kind of. So again, your left hand isn't doing much there, except that hammer on from open string one to string one fret one. Oh. And then string five fret three at the end. So here's that measure again. Cool, right? And then. Oh, is that a hammer on too? Yeah, that's weird. You're doing a hammer on from the second measure into the third measure, so it sounds like this. Right. Oh, there's that triplet again. So I'm going to go back to the end of the second measure where you do that, that hammer on. Oh. So when you do that hammer on from string two fret one to string two fret three, keep this finger down on string two fret three. So let me go back to the end of uh, measure two again. The reason to keep that down after the hammer on is because it makes the triplet, which is right after it, easier. All right? Then your, your pinky's already there. That's nice. Um, let's do that one more time. End of measure two. And then measure four. Measure four, let's see, you had a string three fret two. Well, sorry. I guess you could, could you do, mm, no, okay, so leave string three fret two down. 
and then you got your little hammer on there from string open string one to string one fret one. And I think that might be all that we can do with that song. After that, it gets really, really hard, and you got the whole tuning thing. Don't forget to tune your guitar back to standard tuning after. And string six should be E normally, but for this song, string six is D. Um, it's called drop D or drop tuning. But if you have any questions, let me know. I don't want to make this video too long. So have fun with this, and thanks for watching the video.